Although Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3 has just arrived, bringing along a brand new battle pass full of 8 outfits, 30 free rewards of which you can see on screen right now, map changes, mythics and so much more. Believe it or not, the free rewards don't just stop there as the summer event is about to start and so many more things are upcoming that we already know about within this next update. Last video I asked you guys to name this emote and here's a ton of hearted comments on screen right now that got it right. This now however is our new emote so let me know what this is down below in the comments and if you get it right and your comment gets hearted it could be shown on screen in the next video. And considering we're incredibly close to 2.54 million subscribers whilst you're clicking buttons, hit the button, turn on all notifications, after all the only benefit you is we do try and give different subscribers every single day with proof of that on screen right now. It would put a giant smile on my face and cheer up Charlie the Charcoal Pug if you could enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop right now. Literally, I believe one of the shortest codes to enter and it greatly supports us and the channel. Diving straight into it all, what I found most interesting about the start of this season, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have too, is the fact that Dr. Sloan was revealed to return before it released in the cinematic trailer. Despite her being revealed from rotating in the item shop as the name Innovator Sloan, believe it or not, if you haven't explored the full map yet, she is an NPC, of which says some very interesting things about her motives now if you go up to her wearing certain characters. The most interesting of all of these, without reading all of them out, is the fourth one down being Gunner, where she states to him, I told you I'm done, meaning perhaps with the imagined order as he was her official right hand man. She also stated in the voice recordings that she has somebody to thank for saving her, which could be this Battle Pass skin as they have the same logos on the back of the characters. Also from taking a look at their survey variants too, they both have this weird power of some kind of substance coming off of their hands. Despite the collision live event seeming like the end for Sloane, she actually managed to shut this hatch door before the mecha team leader slammed down on it, potentially eliminating her so we thought. However, it's been right in front of our eyes since the start of Chapter 4 in the trailer that this tank has been a part of this island. This can also be found now where she is as an NPC in game. And speaking of NPCs, the secret skin this season that we all thought could be this version of Dr. Sloan before it was officially revealed the whole battle pass, Paradise Meow Souls. Despite him coming along with two pages now, unlike Eren Yeager last season, which literally only had one and was the biggest letdown because we never saw his attack titan form or any titan shifted skins, this beloved cat will be available for the first time when I'm recording in 26 or 25 days, which happens to land on the 6th of July 2023. Of course, here's what all the rewards look like unlocked early that I've managed to extract from private servers thanks to the help of other data miners, but if you do want to use either Innovator Sloan without buying her for 1200 V-Bucks or Paradise Meow Souls, you can simply wear Mystique if you have her from the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass and go up to either of them after eliminating them, performing this emote to turn into said skin you've just eliminated. Speaking of skins introduced this season, I'm sure one that you're all grinding for right now or paying attention to the most is Optimus Prime from Transformers being level 100. Despite me already being level over 100, literally like 120 when I'm recording this video, sadly I didn't get a reward screen for when I bought all 100 levels, but you'll be happy to know that with the start of this new season, despite enjoying all the brand new map changes, there's a bunch of challenges you can complete now to earn a ton of XP. Of course, you have the standard weekly challenges, daily challenges, and even Optimus Prime Transformers challenges, which obviously renew in part every single week. The best one nobody's talking about, considering it only gives a sticker emoticon right now, are the Aura Snapshot challenges, literally giving you 30,000 XP per time, and you can do multiple per game as they're very easy. To start out summer, however, and the event going into it, Top 5 Gaming have picked out their locker bundle to accommodate this with the summer version of Midas that you perhaps have seen in the item shop already. As we're only in early June, however, despite this heating things up alongside the This Is Fine emote, for those that don't know, is in reference to this popular internet meme. No Sweat Summer being the last summer event that revamped the sanctuary, put a rainbow in the sky for Pride Month, and also give us the ability to earn a ton of free rewards, and skins came back to the item shop, limited time summer theme. This started on July 21st and went through until August 9th, 2022. With this context in mind, it's safe to say we're not going to be seeing this roll around in the first update, however, some cosmetics may get leaked that are upcoming as a part of this event within 25.10. The skin that I know everybody wants to see is this buff version of Peeler, like we have the muscular cat being Meow Souls. And speaking of Meow Souls, considering it's been reintroduced or revamped this season, it only makes sense. Despite today's thumbnail obviously showing this being just a concept, it's very possible we could be seeing a free skin for this brand new summer event, which is going to be called 14 Days of Summer once again this year. Whether it's in this event or not, as we're about to see another limited time battle pass like the ones we've seen for originally Dragon Ball, then Most Wanted, and Star Wars, which nobody seems to be talking about with the introduction of the Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass being, well, for this racing LTM or car limited time event. This will require a downtime update to get introduced, which supposedly, according to Not Palo, before the release of this season, is either going to be in 25.10 on June 20th, update 25.11 being a smaller downtime update on June 27th, or even 25.20 July 4th. Dates also could change by the time these are planned to roll around, as stated at the bottom of this tweet, but honestly, it seems like we're getting one of these mini limited time battle passes each season now, to kind of revive the game halfway through or when they see a drop-off in terms of popularity.
clarity. How we know this is because the one upcoming even in Chapter 4 Season 4 next season, I know it's early to say, is this Doctor Who one that will be coming around around the 60th anniversary of the show, which is November 2023. Crazy to think that all the cosmetics on here that we can unlock have already been leaked. Maybe they changed these considering it got leaked so early to surprise us when it does come around. Speaking of collabs, one that everybody wanted this season, however, was One Piece, which we initially speculated prior to this season starting would be based off the correlation to prior secret or collab skins unlockable halfway through the season. Geralt of Rivia and Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan be Luffy from One Piece. The tropical and jungle theme is still here, so they could do this halfway through the season and have it hyped up like kind of what they did with Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 toward the end of last season. Reverting back to the summer event, however, dates obviously could change, but Hypex did state toward the end of last season or prior to its starting, should I say, Fortnite's 2023 summer event starts July 4. Despite all the free rewards that of course will come along with this, as stated in the tweet, there will be map changes to accommodate summer coming, and hopefully we get the skateboard vehicles as we got baited toward them upcoming last year, with these skate parks being introduced on the outskirts of the sanctuary. It's very possible, considering they actually updated files prior to Season 3 starting to do with the surfboards, which we can already use in Creative, so literally it's a hotfix away from being in Battle Royale. These would work very similar to skateboards, and I'm guessing the only reason they haven't added them is because they're a bat bling, but we even have surfboards as cosmetics being gliders, rather than bat blings that we're simply having on our back the entire time. Despite this season being very fun so far, I think Epic Games have been hesitant to add another movement mechanic like the Kinetic Blade or Shockwave Hammer, as the boomerang we all thought may do this from initially seeing it on the key art. This sadly isn't the case, and of course it would have been helpful with these high jungle trees that we literally can't harvest down. More movement is about to be on the way, however, despite the raptors, of course, that we can now ride in-game instead of like Chapter 2 Season 6, where literally they were just hostile the entire time. This firstly comes in the form of quad crashes, as something was updated to do with them, meaning they're returning soon. And speaking of the Shockwave Hammer, specifically this anyways, Fire Monkey had some good news regarding its return. Some Chapter 4 Season 3 dailies this season mention items that are not currently enabled in the loot pool, such as Repair Torch, Shockwave Hammer, Buzz, and dial -a drop Speaking of weapons upcoming soon, not returning, but a brand new one, however, that got leaked prior to the season starting, Hypex tweeted out about the upcoming chain launcher, and despite this literally looking like a grenade launcher weapon that we've already seen, as you can see, it literally shoots out chains to structures, and Hypex also states it looks like it's only going to be useful with vehicles as of now, but it's still unfinished, so maybe Fortnite have other purposes for it. On top of that, the beloved minigun looks like it's going to be returning, as Hypex also mentioned on the date of Season 3's launch, upcoming backpack minigun. A heavy weapon with high damage and extreme rate of fire firing a huge magazine size, very inaccurate, unless aiming down sights from a fixed position and firing in short bursts. These are incredibly overpowered in the higher rarities, so like the drum shotgun as this has been unvaulted all the way up to the mythic rarity now in-game. Fingers crossed we don't get another overpowered mythic as having all three of the Transformers mythic, the drum mythic, and then this together would be insanely overpowered. Of course, it would help you on your way to getting the first victory royale of this season. If you haven't yet, this is the victory royale umbrella, again in relation to Peely, which makes me think we're going to be seeing another variant of him for summer, whether it is this buff variant like shown in today's thumbnail, or even this very early summer version shown back in chapter 1 on a poster made by Epic Games of him wearing a summer themed shirt. Drop a like in today's video if you'd love to see that, and subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future uploads, but as for where you go to now, click this video I picked out for you on screen whilst you wait specifically for the next upload I do publish on the channel.